My expertise was originally with reptiles. So I've worked with the biggest reptiles in the world. I, I spent many, many, many years working with, uh, with crocodiles, uh, working with the biggest. And uh, I've always had a love for you know, reptiles and I, and I always will. So when the opportunity came and Calgary Zoo contacted me and a big thanks to the, to the team there, uh, yeah, we, we had to make it happen. You know, we really did. And we had to make it happen for the, for the kids and, and we had to make it happen for the big kids <laughs> that also want to see it. One of the things that we really wanted to showcase to people is the future of our exhibits here at the Saskatoon is large naturalistic exhibits. So when you look at this one, and I'm sure you would agree, when you walk through that and you look through that glass, it's an enormous habitat for, the, for these two animals. And uh, so they've got lots of room and they've got everything that they could possibly need and more. Obviously, there's, uh, the, the staff do not go in with the animals. So the, the habitat is designed and the exhibit is designed for safety so that they don't have to actually enter uh, the habitat while the animals are in there. So the rule is always you're never in the same space as the animal at the same time. Uh, so we have lockdown and safety procedures. The animals go in when they're called in and then uh, uh, even when we feed, we have a specially designed chute from the top of the, the, uh, the upstairs floor. So their uh, staff don't actually have to go in there. They can just lower it down into the exhibit for the animals to feed. I drew the Komodo dragons and then they got projected onto these giant things. And I didn't get to draw the face, which is a real bummer because it's like there's a giant hole in my in the Komodo dragon's face, and that's like the best part to draw. Drawing a Komodo dragon, which is like the closest thing to a real dragon, that's pretty cool.